So how do I know what I really want out of life? I love this question. I think it's one of the most exciting questions we can start to ask ourselves. And it's sometimes difficult to pin it down right away. Oftentimes, we've been going through life, kind of going through the motions. We went to school, we got a job, we're maybe living in a house or with a family, and we've made choices that look a lot like everyone else's choices. And yet, once we start to realize that maybe there are some things that we need to change to get closer to how we really want to be and to live the life that we really want to be living, there's a sort of scary realization that we don't actually know. And I think this happens because we're not really encouraged in our lives today to ask that question a lot. We ask some different questions. How can I be the best? How can I have the most? How can I be the most successful? What do other people expect from me? What should I be doing? And what do I really want kind of takes all of that and puts it to one side. There are a couple of places that we can start to look around and figure out what we really want for ourselves and the time that we have left on this planet. And one of the places that I'd like to talk about today is going and checking in with your inner child. My guess is that as a kid, you knew exactly what you wanted and you were also very angry when you weren't able to have it. Children are wonderfully clear about what they want to be doing, when they want to be doing it and how much they want to be doing it. And when they're told no, tantruming and screaming results. Your inner child is very, very sure about how it wants to be living its life. And it gets angry when that thing is denied. But over time, we learn to stop listening to that child. School teaches us to sit still, face the right direction, answer questions when we're asked to, and to behave the way everyone else is behaving. Similarly, college, while it allows for exploration, really pins you down into a couple of key areas. You're asked to do very similar assignments and you're prepared for a certain number of jobs that are already available and out there in the world. And the workplace is obviously the place that most of us feel the most detached from who we really are and who we really want to be. So we can start by asking ourselves, what is it that we like to do as kids? What were the things that we were fascinated by? What were the jobs that we said we really wanted to do? Who were the people that we really wanted to be? One example I can share with you from my childhood is that I absolutely knew that I wanted to be around horses. I loved horses growing up and I took every opportunity I could find to ride horses with the pocket money that I saved up working around the house as a kid. And every opportunity that I've had since as an adult to get new horses, I've taken it. I even picked my executive coach because she does a lot of work with horses and that spoke to me so much that I was willing to take serious time out of my day, drive all the way out to her farm, spend time there with her and the herd and come back. That was how I best wanted to reflect on what my life was going to be about and to figure out who I needed to be and what I needed to be doing in my life to get closer to that. So today I would love for you to start thinking about this question. Who is your inner child? Can you remember what they wanted? Can you remember what they were drawn to? And how much of those things still resonate and connect with you today?